What's going on guys and welcome to my combined 11 for England versus France. Now I'm basing this off of form and not just on who the names are and, and their careers and what they've done. I'm doing it on tournament form. Um, so I'm going to be doing England versus France. I'm going to be doing Netherlands versus Argentina. But I'm going to be doing that tomorrow probably even though it's going to be after the game's been played. Because I've already wrote down my, my starting, my combined 11 for that one anyway. So it's not going to change to, depending on the result tonight. Um, but this one got voted first in the community tab. So I'm going to be doing this one first. In goal, England versus France combined 11. I'm going with Pickford. I think Larice has always been overrated, like his whole career. I know he's won a World Cup with France, but that's a squad effort and not just him. And I think Pickford's better than Larice. I think Larice has always been overrated. So for me, Pickford is my keeper. At right back, I'm going with Kunde. Now, people say he's not a right back, and I know he's not, but he's been playing right back for France in this World Cup. And I think he's been performing better than anyone we've played in, in terms of Walker, Trent and Trippier for England. So Kunde would be my right back. Centre-backs, um, I'm going with Varane. And I'm also going with Upper Meccano. Um, I think Stones is pretty good. Maguire's nowhere near this team. Um, and I think I've been impressed with Upper Makano. But Varane, countless things he's won in his career. But this tournament also, I think him and Upper Makano's partner, partnership have, have been fundamental in their tournament so far. And I think they've been better than Stones and Maguire. So they would be my centre-backs. Shaw could have got into my team at left-back. I think he's had a good tournament and one of England's best players so far. But I think this guy as well is just is vital to his team and performed at the same level, I think, for France. So Hernandez, Theo Hernandez, um, for me, has to be the left back. I think he's a bit more aggressive than Shaw is. Um, and I think there's not much in it between them two, but I would go with Hernandez. I'd edge it to him. Centre midfield, I'm going with Chuamini. I can't fully remember how you spell his name, so don't get at me in the comments. But I think it's something like this. Um, Chuamini would be my number six. Again, I don't think there's a lot in it between him and Rice, but I would edge it to Chuamini. Um, I think he's had a better tournament. He's performed better than Rice. So, yeah, I, I think I would edge it to Chuamini. On the left side, I would go with Rabiot. Um, I think, look, people are saying, how are you going to have him in over like a Foden or, so, or someone like that? But for me, I think he's performed in this World Cup so far. He's not a massive name on the team sheet, but he performs, he's scored already. And I think he's played a fundamental role in this team, even though he's not a massive name. So Rabiot on the left. On the right here, I really wanted to put Bellingham in, but I've gone with Griezmann because I think Griezmann is just, if not more important to the French team than Bellingham is to England. I think Bellingham could have got in this and probably should have, but I think Griezmann goes under the radar. He's been doing it longer. And I think this tournament also, he's been a lot better than he was in the Euros just gone. And he's already on the stats a few times as well in this tournament. So for me, I didn't want to leave Bellingham out, but I had to because I think Griezmann has done brilliant for France and he's gone under the radar. Um, and then we've got the three up front. Um, Saka is my right winger. I know we've got Dembele, who is a problem for France, but I do think Saka has been the better performer of the two so far in this tournament. Um, so Saka makes it in on the right. In at number nine, again, I know there's a massive thing around Kane. And when he's on it, he's one of the best in the world. And he's got a few assists in this World Cup. But for me, Giroud has always been underrated in his career. He's just broke Henri's record for France. And I think I want my number nine in any team I've got staying in the box and scoring goals. And Kane drops back too much into the midfield and tries to be a playmaker. And I don't want my number nine doing that. So Giroud is my number nine. Plus, I think he is just as good as Kane. And I think he's outperforming Kane in this tournament. So Giroud, number nine. And then on the left, it has to be Mbappe. Um, I think he's the player of the tournament so far. I think Grealish hasn't performed in this tournament. Foden has it in glimpses at times, but I can't have him in over Mbappe. It's just not happening. Um, Sterling's not performed. I think the only one that could have contended was Rashford but again we're talking different levels of ability here and Mbappe's miles ahead of everyone in this tournament so 
That is my combined 11. It's only got two English players in it. Bellingham is very close to making it. Other than that, look, that is how I see it on form. A lot of people do these combined 11s and don't base it on right now in current form. I'm doing it off tournament performance. And maybe Bellingham's the only argument you could have in there for me. So Pickford and Saka are the only English ones that make it in. We're playing them tomorrow. I hope we go through, but I think we will lose to France. That is my combined 11. Let me know yours in the comments and what you think. Just watch Croatia knock out Brazil on penalties and thoroughly deserved. I think they were the better team, much the better team in the first half. Croatia controlled the midfield. Modric, Kovacic and Rozovic were levels above the midfield in the, fr in the first half. Second half, it was closer. Neymar scored a good goal, a team goal where he had to dribble around the keeper. By the way, that Livkovic in goal for Croatia is a, a tremendous keeper. And again, he's played his part in a penalty shootout like he did against Japan and he's got his team into the, the semi-finals. And Croatia are an underdog all the time, but they always seem to do pretty well. And they've knocked out one of the two favourites out of Brazil and France in this tournament. A lot of people's picked to win the whole thing, Brazil. And they had their chances in this game and Livkovic come up trumps at certain times against the likes of a Neymar, Sandro at the end of the game as well. And then on penalties. So Brazil are out, Croatia are into the semi-finals. And this World Cup keeps continuing to surprise and throw up surprises. So watch out for my combined 11, Netherlands and Argentina, which will be coming tomorrow, guys, after tonight's game. But I've already picked that, so it's not going to be influenced by tonight's result. So watch out for that tomorrow, guys. Let me know your combined 11s in the comments. And I'll see you guys soon.